boys, it's your first Valentine's Day card. See, it says Baxter Lane Cornelius. Yeah. And you just want to eat it, don't you? It says, hey, grandson. This happy little monkey has a special wish to make. <gasps> monkey! Who's a monkey? You wanna go put this in your piggy bank? Hey, nope, I'm gonna eat it. Nope, don't do that. Stupid! So I'm freaking out because my audio is not working from some of my videos yesterday, but I think I can fix it. I'm just gonna take a little time. A little extra time, a little extra loving. Tomorrow's Jenny's birthday. She's 25. She'll be 25 years old. Crazy. If I had kids when I was 25, they would be going on six now. Because when you're my age, you'll have six year olds. So we're headed to Target right now. We are getting some items, some household items that we need. We are not going to buy anything that we don't need. Uh, like 100%. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, we might be buying things that we don't need. But, however, we are approaching the minimalist lifestyle. Documentary on Netflix called Minimalism. Minimalism? Minimalist. The Minimalist. And it's basically about living life with as little as you possibly can. And it kind of inspired us a little bit. We've been packing things up and getting rid of things. And well, we haven't really got rid of anything yet. But Our garage just looks like we're moving out. But yeah. We're just gonna donate all of it. Pretty much. We're gonna get rid of stuff. We're not gonna buy things. We're not gonna buy crap that we don't need at Target. Even though Target tempts you to buy crap that you don't need. I don't necessarily know if crap is the right word. Shit, stuff, junk, things, trinkets, trinkets, thingamajiggers, knickknacks, whatchamacallits. Are you already asleep? Sawyer's awake. Oh. I see you, buddy. Daddy sees you. You ready to go to Target? Are we gonna buy you stuff that you don't need? Why don't you say that for the camera, Jenny? No. Say it. Where are we going? So I'm ashamed of myself because I went back to being a vegetarian and I still crave Chick-fil-A. That's the only thing I crave is chicken from Chick-fil-A. Right now, I'm headed to Chick-fil-A for Cooper and I want a bite of his chicken sandwich. That's it, that's all. Basically, when she was pregnant, she started eating chicken. She's been a vegetarian for like, what, four or five years? Four years. Four years, four years basically, since we've known each other. But she started eating chicken when she was pregnant, just to kind of get a little extra protein, all that good stuff. But every now and then, she cannot resist Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. So I guarantee you, she'll be taking a bite. She's probably gonna get her own sandwich. <laughs> Did you get away from that? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Chicken? Good smells. <laughs> mm. So Denise, Denise here just ordered me a couple of chicken sandwiches. When I go through drive throughs they think my name's Denise. What's the name? Jenny. All right, Denise, we'll have that right up. Better than uh, Jimmy, or Jimmy, or Jerry. I wish my right, Jerry? name was Virginia. Virginia? Uh -huh. Jenny with a G. G-I-N-N-Y, Jenny. Maybe when we have our twin girls here in a few years, we'll name them Clementine and Virginia. That'd be pretty. Yeah. By the way, Jenny's pregnant with twins again, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> That's why she's craving chicken. Oh, such a lie. 
Total lie. I thought I called me Dennis at first. I was like, did he just say Dennis? And I just was, was like... Janice? Is that what it said? I think it said Janice, but it sounded like Dennis. Dennis? Mmm. What does it say on here? Yep. Got Chick-fil-A and Denise here gets up to the window and they're like, Dennis? They don't know how to get her name right. And then they said Janice or something. Here you go, Janice. He either said Janice or Dennis. Dennis or Janice. I didn't know Jenny was such a hard name to get right. Boys are big enough to sit in their stroller without their car seats in them now. Do you like one of those? Uh -huh. They probably can see that. That's our next little. Uh, that's what's next for you guys. Everybody just thinks you guys are the cutest. You want roses for your birthday? No. What about for Valentine's Day? Her birthday is Valentine's Day. Emoji pajamas. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Hey, whatever's, whatever's the biggest is what we should get because we'll probably get the best deal. So we're trying to do the math here. This is the first time we've had to buy formula since the boys were born. My cousin gave us a bunch and we just ran out, so. Look how expensive this crap is. Holy smokes. $32 for one of those. You gotta do it. You like to get me whenever I'm all riled up. You like to record me. I don't think they should put me in baby food. You got carrot, chickpea, pea, beef, and tomato. Jenny's trying to turn these little boys into vegetarians. They're like, bring on the beef. Say, we want steak and cheeseburgers. Meatloaf. Mm. Yeah. What about pork chops? Bacon. Mm. Chick-fil-A sandwich. Made into a wreath. Whoa, a mushroom wreath. You should lick it, see if you start tripping. <laughs> Whoa, man. Essentials. Just the one we want, or this one, or this one. Got everything we needed at Target. Did not get a whole lot of things that we didn't need. Did a whole we? Lot. we didn't get anything that we didn't need. We didn't get anything that we didn't need. Everything that we purchased was necessities. Was Good job, like... Cooper and Denise. I mean Janice. I mean Jerry. I mean Jimmy. And these guys are just perfect. You guys are so good. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you guys get like that? Car rides just pull us out, don't they? Uh oh. It's time to wake up. Right, we are back home from Target. We are packing up some gifts right now. Going to my buddy Adam and Megan's house here in a little bit. They had a little girl a few months ago, and uh, we haven't got to give them their gift yet, so. Some little girl jammies and toys and stuff here. 
We don't really know what to get girls because uh, we don't have girls. Pinks and yellows. Binky leashes. These things are a lifesaver. If you don't have a baby yet and you're about to have one, make sure you stock up on these because you will need them. What do you think you're doing, little guy? That's not your present. That's for a different baby. Yeah, I don't care. I just love packages. Yes, I do. really late at night now. Everybody else is asleep. Jenny's been in bed for a few hours. Went to my buddy's house earlier, met their baby. Super cute. The craziest thing happens. We look over and Sawyer is playing with this toy. He's like leaned up against the coffee table and we look over and he's just standing there all by himself. Not even holding on to anything. Didn't have my camera out fast enough to record it, but it was the craziest most surreal thing ever. Dude, these babies are gonna be standing and walking like any day. Probably in like a month or so. The longer the better. But anyways, I gotta get to bed. I gotta get up early for Jenny's little birthday surprise. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please hit the thumbs up button. And until next time, peace.